Hello there and welcome back to the Salon Touch video channel. Now that you opened your salon and the first client walks in, how do we add a client to Salon Touch? Let me show you how we go about adding new clients to Salon Touch. So I will click on the client button right here at the top and on the left side I will say add client and it opens up a page where I can start putting in the name of the customer and all of the details. So the customer's name is James and I'm going to fill out the details and I'll come back and we'll talk about each of the other things. So here we are, I filled in the customer's details. Keep in mind that for a new customer, only the name and the client ID are mandatory to save the record. Now the client ID is generated uh, by Salon Touch um, automatically. If you wish to put a special ID, you can do that under the number. Salon Touch will just uh, make sure that there's no other customer with the same ID and you should be okay. The rest of the information like the home address or driver's license scan or picture scan, uh, skin types, all this information can be filled in later on. <clears throat> if you have a camera attached, you can snap a picture if you want to. Um, if you click on the second tab here, one thing before we go to the second tab, I would strongly urge you to capture the cell phone, uh, the email address as a minimum, because in the future this will help you in your text messaging campaigns or email marketing campaign distribution list. So I would, it's very important that we capture the cell phone number and the email as a minimum so that we can, once you build up a client list, we can do some sort of a clever marketing. Okay, let's go to the personal tab here. This is information if the customer has any medication that you need to be aware of or you want to put it on record, you can do that. Um, the rest of the information is all uh, not mandatory. The account information shows um, some details about the customers. For example, if you have set up your system to accept points or purchase points or referred points, and we'll talk about this later in different videos, this is a place where you would make adjustments. If you want to change the in-house credit, uh, this is where you would make a, a change in the limit for the in-house credit for this particular customer. Then there are um, NSF fees. These are the non-sufficient uh, of fund P fees uh, or late fees that you can make adjustments to or if you want to put the account on hold or freeze the account and things like that but these are all you know things that you develop as you go along the fourth one is a release form so 10 release forms or parental consent forms all the forms that you have the customer sign a record of that is kept here in salon touch uh, the fifth tab here is the formulas tab if there are any uh, formulas like for example mixing of lotion tanning lotions or any tan lotion that you want to keep a record of you can do that here memos are uh, things that will pop up um, when you pull up the customer at the register just to remind you of something if there's anything you want to do that so you can do that in the pop-up menu and the uh, last tab is the identification tab if you if you need to do that or get a, if you have an e-pad for signature purposes, this is where you would be storing that. So for all practical purposes, I would save it then. And for all practical purposes, you've really added the new client in. You can now go ahead and sell the client uh, packages, products, uh, have him come in and tan as usual, run reports, uh, run his profile and all kinds of stuff. Okay, I hope this was um, useful to you and we'll speak to you again soon. Thanks and bye.